What's up guys and gals, my name is Splattercat and we are here at the Nerd Castle with the next episode of Shadowrun Dragonfall. In the previous episode, we had triggered an alarm and bad things had happened. We had also given up basically all of our secrets. Luckily, we killed the guy with the secrets, so hopefully as technology doesn't get involved in this whole romp through our brain. But unfortunately, the spirits did not give me strength. This is why everybody picks mage, spirits. I'm just, right now, I'm talking to you personally, spirits. This is why everybody picks mage over you, because had I taken mage, I would have had willpower and I'd been like, Psh, I don't care, and I would have just resisted and it would have been fine, but no, magic wolf spirits and things don't come and save you when you need them to. Beyond the point, we're still kind of hanging out here with a few problems on our hands. Cowled problems, if I'm going to be more specific, and I think we're just going to waste our shots right there because there's not really anything else to do. I did summon an air spirit, someone out of desperation. Oh good, he's summoning a nasty plague spirit too. I love plague spirits. We've got a couple turns until these two heavily armored dudes arrive, and heavily armored they are, they also have a huge shoulder pad, so that could become an issue. Because how can you shoot somebody in the face if they have giant shoulder pads? I didn't mean to do that, but I guess I'll take it. Let's go ahead and pray to the gods of the rig. Yeah, the gods of the rig aren't feeling us right now. They are not feeling us. How was that out of line of sight? Like... I am desperately, desperately confused a lot of the time about how the LOS in this game works. And also, why does everyone have one LP? Oh, it's because everybody's control. I've made bad decisions. Yep, made bad decisions. Is your aim up? Oh, good, it is. Ew, bad RNG. Bad, bad RNG. We're going to get 4 AP on him. And we are going to use it right this second to kill the... We accomplished nothing in this turn. We accomplished absolutely nothing. In fact, we ended this turn worse off than we were in the first episode, which is bad. That's really, really insanely bad. Like a huge, huge row with RNG in this mission. I think the AI has caught on that if they kill 3 toe, then the game is over. So they're really laying into him. I need to figure out a way to get around this. I'm going to pull him back. That's all I can do right now. I have no choice. Since the game is focus firing only him for some weird reason. Even though I have people standing out of cover doing absolutely nothing. Still focus firing him. I can't tell you why. I thought I gave him... Ooh, okay. All right. Well, balls. It appears as though the acid has killed off Max. I'm going to get rid of the mage first. All right, so we killed him off. Glory, we probably need to rush forwards with. Oh, good. And I've wasted a turn looking at something I didn't need to look at. Over here... Yeah, I had a feeling it might do that. Doesn't really denote where its uh, explosive radius ends very well. It's okay though. We will go full on. Where did my wind spirit go, by the way? Did he just like vanish? Interesting. Oh, and there's two more guys over here, too. God, this is something. Alright. Well, let's give haste to Iger. And I don't know if this is going to be a situation where it just keeps spawning more and more enemies at me until I decide to finally complete the mission. I'm not going back in there, though. Every time I step in there, I get shot like 400 times. Having taken up position. The 
Let me see if I can't give him the shoots down. Nope. RNG gods are hating on us. So he's still got Dump Shock, unfortunately. What is Dump Shock doing to him? He's wounded 10 and then he's got Dump Shock. Okay. Well, how come he... I thought Dump Shock lowered your AP by a whole bunch. I could be wrong, but that's what I always thought it did. Oh, well. Freebie shots. I think there is something to be, like, said here about how the AI, their skill points really seem to be able to hit you, like, every single time, even in cover. But I don't know whether, when it was, like, when your players were designed, I don't know why their skill points are arranged such that they always have, like, a low hit chance. Like, I always, always seem like I'm doing, like, 60% or, like, 70%, but never quite good enough. I do really, really wish that I got to allocate my own skill points, to be honest. And I know I've been harping on that a lot, but my desire still remains deeply embedded. So 27 damage right there. He's about a bullet and a half away from death, so I'm going to give him another med kit. These guys over here, I think she's got an AP grenade, so yeah, let's smoke them out. Both of you can go to hell. And they're like, already there, chief. Already there. And now we're going to get a little bit of revenge for them killing off Max. Maybe splash some acid on him, and he's down. And so I don't know if we're actually clear right now from behind. My hope, or my most ardent hope, would be that we are. And of course, RNG is going to hate on us again. God. Missing is so much fun. I enjoy missing more than anything else in the world. Alright, so are we done here? Are we all finished off? No, it sounds like there's a couple more left. Four to be exact. So let's see if we can't figure out where they are. Everybody collapse on me. And then reload. And I'm going to use Bear Sigil just to heal everybody in one big go. I love this ability. This is the best ability they ever added to the game. There's nothing not to love about AoE healing. And then just have everybody reload for now. And they said that Boss Man was the only person that could do anything about this. So let's go over there and see what's going on. The terminal has been locked. There doesn't seem to be any way to unlock it from here, but it is connected to a number of other terminals in the room. In theory, a Decker could probably enter the lab's dedicated Matrix server and unlock the terminal from there, but doing so would almost certainly raise an alarm. Yeah, well, I don't hate. I don't want to break it to you here. I don't want to be that guy. But it already looks as though the alarm has gone off. Like I don't want to be a negative Nancy here. But let's have Glory use Adrenal Pump, and she'll check out this room right here, since I don't know what's going on with it. So we do have another room, and it has flagged our objective for us. I didn't get to do my double summon, which is disappointing, but there's no reason to do it right now. As technology, so from over there... Well, that is not what I wanted you to do. Please stop that. I'm trying to click the little radius around your feet. The aura around your pedicles. I think I want this position. I think Three Toe is going to give up his to get into cover. And 
so a three coming from the right it appears as though this connects right here and so you've got this long it's kind of an F junction type thing going on an upside down F upside down backwards F like something you might see in like Cyrillic or something point blank him in the face with a sniper rifle because every dead enemy is a good enemy and then we'll continue moving her into the room hopefully to an advantageous position with three toe I would rather destroy the barrel now let's move her into full cover I'm gonna have Blitz use a med kit on himself preemptively since I can't get around to it right now. And continue having him move up. Throw another haste on Iger just to make sure that it gets done because I want her to be speedy. I wanna make sure she feels caffeinated today and we're actually gonna use that extra AP on this turn to reload her sniper. And we'll wait and see where the enemy comes from. So it looks like we are going to be engaged in a contest along two different fronts with them, which is bad. I don't want to fight along two fronts if I can help it. Let's get rid of the Enforcer first. We've got good chances to hit him. Mm, bad mistake on my part. Whatever. From over here, can Iger take shots at him? She can at a terrible, terrible 56 on this one. So I'll go with the 56s since I don't have anything better. Alright, and so the game of peekaboo has gone wrong there. I'm going to have her charge back in and claw this guy. Alright, not so terrible. It'll work for now. Oh no, another summon. Summon that is probably going to hurt like hell. Oh, it broke free. That's even worse. This is really, really bad. As in, this is horrible. Those things are really difficult to kill. And given the range of problems we've already accrued... I think it's counting her on the opposite side of the door for some reason. It is. So why can't that shot be made? What's going on here? This is weird. It's not allowing me to target her. It's saying that I can move into her space, but I can't target her. I've never seen that happen before. It's an interesting bug. It's not letting anybody target her. Strange. Ooh, Iger coming through. All right. That's what I like to see right there. Well done. Well played, madam. So since we're now occupying... Oh, I got the wrong character again. I thought it was on... So I am a little interested in why this character has gone immune to all damage. and why we can occupy her space. Maybe once she moves, this won't be a problem anymore? I don't know. There we go. It's not a problem any further. Damn, that acid. Alright, so let's get her. I mean, if she's going to splash me with acid, I'm going to splash her with acid. That's just the way things go in life. Do unto others and all that fun stuff. And then we'll move the combat medic over to hopefully help out with that next turn, even though he's going to take the first turn, so he'll take the four. I don't know if we'll be able to do it any at all, but let's go ahead and advance here really hard, just in case. I mean, the last thing I want to do is get into a shootout in this room, but they may force my hand. Oh, there's a decking port right there. I didn't even see that this entire time. There's so many little symbols and things floating around. Squad Medic, get another Adrenal Pump going, and Squad Medic, bango! 
And so I actually sort of want to know what this does. The control panel blinks with a featureless command prompt. Uh, let me check my objectives real fast to make sure like secondary stuff isn't being left out. It's got objectives. Overload the facility, keep the team alive, get the project data for the shock well and rider. Okay, so that may be the decking thing that they wanted us to do. So let's go back and see if we can't deck into this place. They'll probably spawn a few more on us. My guess is that those... Whatever those pips are that it's giving us are some kind of like placeholder or something for the game so that it can spawn mobs on us. I don't know. I have no idea. He's decking on a major ley line. He's multitasking right now. How sweet is that? If you were a mage and a decker, would you get ley line powers from going into the Matrix 2? That'd be badass. That'd be super cool. Be super awesome. Let's put down Splody and Attacky. And then we'll wander through our first gate and try and figure out what the hell it is that we're doing here. I suppose we'll tar bomb him. Just to keep him out of our hair. Although, do we have hair in the Matrix? I don't know. We look kind of smooth in the Matrix. I mean, I'm not trying to say it in sort of a Carlos Santana sort of way, but I mean, we do look pretty smooth. I don't want to say it too much or Rob Thomas will show up and start making all kinds of racket and I'll be like, Rob Thomas, what are you doing here? Nobody likes you. Go away, Rob Thomas. You and your earring. <laughs> your earring and your bowl cut. <laughs> God. Let's go ahead. I don't know if opening the cell doors is a good idea. These people might be magically crazy or something. God, I'm gonna have that song stuck in my head all day now. Every two seconds, I'm like. <laughs> Watch, I'm going to get a copyright notice on that. They're going to be like, um, you humming is the copyrighted <laughs> is the copyrighted property of Carlos Santana and also Rob Thomas. <laughs> Have fun with that. Well, I'm a little bit worried about what's going to happen now that I've opened the cell doors, but what could it hurt? What could possibly go wrong? Oh, good. I like wasting AP when the gates don't work properly. Oh, my. Oh, my. Yay, more Emonies. I love em anemone anemones. Emonies! I like poking the sea anemones that we have here where I live. When you poke them, they suck in. They're like, and they suck in all their little parts. And they're kind of sticky on your finger, too. Like, I think they've got little, like, villi or philae or whatever the hell they're called. Little thingamadoobers that allow them to probe and stick to things. I think that's how they get their prey. No, Splody! You would only just join this world, you beautiful candle in the wind, you. Let's unlock the northern cell door. Seldor sounds like a terrible fantasy name. Like, Seldor, High Elf of Blockvel. <laughs> just like, what? <laughs> like the kind of name that you would hear just an awful LARPing session. Seldor. Keeper of Prisoners. So there goes another Seldor. Oh, goody. We have shooties out here. The shooties are my favorite. Get myself into cover, I guess. And then we'll bring a tacky along and see if we can get anything done. Fire away! Oh, tacky, you beautiful blue azure bastard. You beautiful, just blind bastard. Let's go ahead and throw one of those on out. This is going to be the turn filled with AoEs. And I guess I'll erode, I don't know, you maybe kind of an arbitrary choice. I mean, it doesn't matter because we missed anyway, so eh, who gives a damn, but we'll fire away right there. And then we'll AoE right there too. Yay! All the damage that we have done. You may no you may move no longer, little floaty spheroid. You may fire, however. Ow, ow, double ow. Really? So he's kind of like a paladin. He's a little bit of a buff bot just hanging out here making problems for me. 
No, we're not going to use suppression yet. I think this is probably a turn that would be best applied with attacks. Save an AP for a heal protocol. I don't know who I want to heal. Probably myself. I mean, it's all... If, if attacky dies, nothing really terrible in the universe happens. If we die, then it's pretty much us getting kicked out of the Matrix, which will be depressing. Because I like the Matrix. It's a place that I enjoy occupying with my blue, smooth self. I guess I could have these people talking right now. The man in the cell stares at you through red-rimmed eyes. His body is marked with obvious signs of mistreatment and neglect. He opens his mouth to speak, then closes it again and swallows hard. He tries again, and the voice that comes from him is this tremulous and weak. You... You have killed the masters! You slaughtered them like lambs! How is that possible? Just another day at the office. You want me to get you out of here? He continues to stare at you, Buck, and <laughs> blinking his mouth agape. Me? Out? How could I go out? It is my place to be in this cage. It is what we were bred for, but you... You killed the masters. It is our place to die and not theirs. I mean, if you want to die, it can be arranged. Want? The slack-jawed man looks genuinely confused. It is not our place to want. My brothers and I are grown here, gestated in tanks to serve our purpose. Purpose? What purpose? What are you talking about? We are test subjects. Our purpose is to suffer and die. His voice is utterly matter-of-fact. <laughs> if any of this bothers him, he doesn't show it. In so doing, we provide useful research data for our masters. What can you tell me about the Bloodline Project? The mages wake us from our slumber, sometimes in twos, sometimes more. One is taken to another part of the facility, the testing lab. The rest remain in their cells. The mages run their tests and the entire group dies. So the mages do something to one of you and the entire group feels the effects? He nods. Yes, they haven't chosen a subject for my group yet, but when they do, my death will come. I won't hear the chanting, I won't see the mage, but I will share in the suffering and I will die. Then another will be grown to take my place. This isn't going to happen to you? I'm busting you and your brothers out of here? His eyes go wide. It looks as though he's having difficulty processing what you've just told him. Out! But our purpose! Well, from now on, your purpose is to do whatever the hell you want. Get ready to run. I'm going to bust you out of here. He nods wide-eyed. Yes! Yes, we will run! All of us! Thank you! And thus, Berlin gains some new hobos to walk around crazily asking for change. Helping the homeless problem in Berlin. My name, Threeto. Sign the checks to whoever you like. It's okay. Let's talk to this guy and see if he's just as batshit nutty. Oh, they're all going to run away now. That's cool. That's cool. Enjoy your life, white-clothed man, half-nude, running away with scars on your face. Enjoy what the future has to hold for you, you noble, noble creature running through the forests of Berlin. Why won't you just die? It upsets me that you can take so much damage. The Bloodline Terminal Access Node. Okay, well, this is probably what we're getting for. So let's go for this. I'm not sure if I enjoy the fact that I'm working for the Shock Welland Rider at this point. I really do sort of feel like they're using me at this point. Let's go ahead and use Suppression because the bar is looking a little bit long here. You step out and we will use another Tar Pit to stick him down. And that buys us a turn. Well, damn, I don't know what else I should be doing right now. I kind of feel like I sit on my hands a lot whenever somebody's decking. I'm just like, eh, what else is there to do? Let's just stand around in a room full of murdered people. I mean, we could summon some constructs from the dead corpse right there. If we really wanted to spend our time doing something. <laughs> He's going to hide behind some racks. We're like, we've been freed. Hide behind some racks. That's clearly the best course of action. Our naive minds can only function at certain levels. Yes, miss! Miss like the wind, you RNG-soaked bastard, you! There we go, and so let's send a tacky over here to get the access node. And so now we should be able to do something sexy with the terminal. I mean, not too sexy, I don't want to have to call a janitor after all this, but I mean something sexy should happen now that we get done with the terminal. I don't know. I'm still not entirely sure. I mean, I could, I suppose we're probably trying to get the research data off of it or something. I'm going to a lot of extra effort to make this happen. I hope the shock will and rider approve it. Now I could go up from here. And I think I shall because we've got a little bit of time on our hands and maybe we'll get another data node where we can some, get some more cash. 
I'm hoping that after we finish the Alice fund, or the Alice fund, it just kind of unloads all of the cash we've earned on us. But anyways, I think I'm going to break the episode off right here. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me in the Nerd Castle for another episode of Shadowrun Dragonfall. I look forward to seeing you all in the shadows tomorrow, chummers. Take care out there.